Looks like it's going. Yeah, it's going. Hey guys, how we doing, man? It's a beautiful day. It's like 65, 70 degrees just above uh, Kansas City, Missouri. We got that coil going to Nebraska. Uh, I wanted to do just a quick tip because this confuses a lot of guys, especially you new guys. Uh, just a securement tip. Try to explain something. When it comes to chains, this could be about chains, you know, the general rule of thumb, one chain of binder is good for 10,000 pounds worth of weight. You get half of that, right? So uh, basically it's 5,000 pounds worth of securement. That's not exactly true, okay? Uh, it all depends on how and where you hook the chain to the trailer. You know, and, uh, I'm gonna get under here and show you something in just a second. Thought I'd show you this coil bag, just because I love this sucker. A little thing to flip it around, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So, oh, there we go. So we got our big coil. Hopefully this comes out. Kind of got the sun in our face here. Let's go over here. There you go. Now you got that coil bag pretty handy if you're going to haul coils a lot. So what I'm talking about is you get under here, look at, you, look at this tag on this trailer. We're going to do them one by one. If you hook to a, a single spool and a stake pocket, which I don't recommend, you get 5,000 pounds. Uh, your securement always goes to the weak link. So let's, that's pretty easy, right? Okay, so here's a stake pocket. And here's a spool, okay? Some are square, some are round. So if you wrap around that and this and come back over and hook here, not hook to the stake pocket, we'll get to that in a minute, you get 5,000 pounds, right? Okay? Double spools, which is always the best, 6,600 pounds. Okay? Two spools. Wrapping around the two spools and hooking in here somewhere. Now, we got stake pocket of 4,000. Now pay attention, because look, you got stake pocket 4,000, and down here it says stake pocket 5,400. What in the world are they talking about? I'll show you. So if you come up under this stake pocket and hook the chain over, that is the 4,000 pounds. If you wrap the entire stake pocket, you get the, uh, what did it say? Say, stake pocket, 5,400 pounds. That's chain all the way around, sorry, and hooked up here, okay? What else we got on this list? Rub rail, I don't hook to the rub rail. Some states you can get in trouble for that. And that's it. Tie downs. Uh, that's a that's a tra that's inside the trailer, but this trailer doesn't even have that. That would be ones that pop up in here, okay, or run through a track. They do have the track, so you could have the inside if you were to make this a covered wagon. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, see this one here? I wrap the entire stake pocket, double spools, stake pocket, double spools. Uh, yep, skip one double spools and stake pocket. Now, like I said, you were to bring this chain up through here and hook the hook over, which I do that sometimes if I have to. But just remember, you lose uh, credit in the DOT's eyes. So that's no longer worth 10,000 pounds of securement because it goes to the weakest link, which is four. Right? So it's only worth 8,000 pounds of securement. One other quick tip. <clears throat> Let's see if I can lift this up. All right. So I got my, my hook paint or my hook pointed up. Let me see this here. Okay. The round part of the hook is down to the deck. The reason I do that when you're winching them down, if it's close quarters and that hook is pointed down, you can actually lift it off of this chain. And hopefully you pop it off while you're doing it and you hear it pop and everything goes loose. 
Well, what worse could happen is you could get it almost all the way off there. I think you're good. Head down the road, hit a bump, and it pops loose. So that's a bad deal. So The 10,000 pounds of securement rule of thumb is good, so as long as you hook them up correctly. Uh, like I said, pretty much the only thing I think on that list would disqualify you is if you come through through under here, up through here, and hook the hook over. Then it's only worth four. It's uh, 54 or whatever it was. We'll look again here in a minute. If you wrap the whole pocket, okay? Oh, the list is back here. Most, tra all trailers should have this on it. So what we got there, stake pocket, 4,000, stake pocket, 5,400. Uh, yeah, so double spools you get the most credit for. Single stake pocket is number two, except the rub rail. If you want to hook on the rub rail, that's worth more, but I wouldn't do it. It's just a bad idea. And in some states, it's a no no. All right, y'all. It's kind of clouding up. We're going to Nebraska. And you can see my ugly face. Going to Nebraska. Valley, Nebraska. Unload. Book the load almost across the street. Menards to Menards, going to Rolla, Missouri. Should have waited a little bit. That's a good load. It's uh, 350 a mile. Uh, but I've had a few calls from agents. They kind of wait till they see you're moving, and then they start calling you. So I booked it before I left the house. I didn't leave the house till 10 o'clock this morning, and we'll get up there. Well, we're under 200 miles. I'm taking my 30 minute break, making a video for y'all and doing a forced regen on the truck. It's a good thing to do. We'll do a video on that someday. Forced regens and tuners. All right, well, that's about all I know. There goes a, CO, a CRST man. It's almost 70 degrees today coming up through here and they're saying six inches of snow by tomorrow night. Weird. Hard to believe, but we'll see what happens. All right, y'all. Get back to truck in seven minutes. I gotta go do a little bit of paperwork, pour some coffee, and then uh, get on the road. Hope this video helps. God bless y'all. Bye now.